Okay, I'm trying to cancel out outside noise as much as I can while I listen to my podcasts. So I really do find a lot of value in them, but I've been having problems with competing noises. It tends to cause me to turn up the volume of the podcast or whatever I'm listening to, which can damage my which has damaged my ears because I've failed hearing tests uh two two hearing tests for the Department of Transportation now disqualifying me from any commercial driving. But, you know, besides uh, failing that, uh, I just have to think about for my own uh, well-being, uh, how I can protect my ears better. And I think that uh, hearing protection while listening uh, to the, 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 um, the earbuds uh, helps. Okay. This is supposed to be, this. Uh, the headphones are supposed to be rated at 20 decibels, so I'll cancel out outside 20 decibels. Um, well, let me just say, it, uh, it, it helps for the outside noise in the environment, but you can still create your own internal noise if you eat something crunchy. Like, I wanted to eat this cereal, this really crunchy cereal, while I, uh, um... It's starting to soften a little bit now. While I listen to podcasts, but all the crunching is causing um, distortion, causing issues with me hearing what they're saying. And so now that's tempting me to turn the volume up. And I don't want to do that. I can hear it fine at the level it's at. But when I start eating the the crunchy foods, I want to I want to start. Uh, notching up the volume, which is not, which, which is risking uh, damage to my eardrums, further damage, and I've I've suffered enough. So <clears throat> it's something to consider if you have to uh, turn up the volume, or if if you could uh, hear the whatever you're listening to over the the crunching of of uh, of food, then you may have the volume up too loud already. Um, so it's, it's something to consider, uh, I don't have any other, uh, great ideas, uh, f for protecting my ears. I'm, uh, I'll just say that this, this, uh, these headphones are kind of annoying. They're not that comfortable, okay, because they're just pushing on the skin. I, I want to adjust them every so often because they're, they're kind of tight, Okay, they're twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, I hope I don't regret spending that money. Uh, I do kind of regret it, but uh, I really this this can I I won't be able to. These aren't exactly going to be for sleeping with because they're so uncomfortable. Okay, but they're definitely I'll take them to the library because even when I go to the library, there's there's enough noise there where I. I've had problems turning up the volume and to compete against the outside noise, but this will lower outside noise by 20 decibels. I mean, I opened up my car door and I left my keys in my ignition. I barely heard that, that beeping that warns me that I left my keys in the ignition. So uh, it was actually bearable. So that's, that's pretty nice uh, with these on. Um, but, uh, let's, I'll give this, uh, this, this a shot, uh, to, to see the, how much protecting I can, I can do in, in an enjoyable way. I remember in the Air Force, I, I had to use a lot of paper towels, and I'd, I'd put the paper towels in between my skin and, and these headphones, because, uh, it was hot, it was warm, although inside the dormitory where I was using these a lot, it was, it was pretty cold, but uh, it's just this, this plastic contact with skin constantly is, a, is annoying, but using tissues can help. They may not look the best, but that's, that's what you'd want. Maybe you could cut circle tissues or something in the shape of these and just let them sit there and then change them out daily. Because you, you sweat, and that, that can get a little nasty over time.